3.10 number 25, we are going to find a linear approximation to estimate the cube root of 1001. We don't know what's the cube root of 1001, but what we do know is, we do know about the cube root of 1000, because this is a perfect cube, and this is going to be 10. So here is the strategy. We are going to come up with an equation of a tangent line. So in another word, this part, right, let me write this down. Let's first get an equation of the tangent line. Well, to what curve? Here we are dealing with the cube root, so the best bet is equation of tangent line to y is equal to the cube root of x. And I want the x value that I know about, which is the inside. Because if I know the x value is 1000, I know the y value. I want the equation of the tangent line to cube root of x at x is equal to 1000. Like this. And let's get this done first. To get equation of tangent line, of course, we need two things. Here we go. The slope, which is the derivative. Let's do this. y is equal to the cube root of x. Let's write this as x to the one third power. And the derivative is going to be um, you bring the exponent down to the front. And then minus 1, right? And we get one third x to the 1 third minus 1, it's the same as 1 third minus 2 over 3, so which is negative 2 thirds. And that's the same as 1 third, bring this down to the denominator, which is x to the 2 over 3. Let us write this back to the um, radical form. This is going to be 1 over 3. And here let's work out the cube root first. Let me write down the cube root of x, and then you square that. This is the easy computation form. Keep in mind, the slope is always going to be a number, especially at the point. This is just a formula that will get you that slope number. What we need to do right now is plug in x value is equal to 1000, and then work this out. The m, which is a slope, which is going to be the derivative, it's going to be 1 over 3 times the Q root of 1000 here, and then you square that. And work this out, we get 1 over 3 is right here. And you do this inside out, the Q root of 1000 is 10. So you multiply by 10 square. And 10 square is 100. 1 third times well, the 100 on the bottom, it's 1 over 300. So the slope is going to be 1 over 300. And now, secondly, we need the point. The x value is 1000, the y value will be 10, all right? So we know x is equal to 1000, and y is the cube root of 1000, which is 10. So the point is 1000 and 10. And here is going to be the x1 value, the y1 value, that we are going to use for the point slope form. And now we can use the point slope form. y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. And the y and x states the same, but you're plugging y minus the y1 is 10 equals to m is 1 over 300 times x minus x1 is 1000. Like this. And then work this out, y minus 10 is equal to distribute this inside, 1 over 300 x minus 1000 over that, which is going to be 10 over 3. You cross out the zeros pretty much, 10 over 3, right? And then you add 10 on both sides. I think I will just put this down for you guys. We add 10 on both sides. And I need more space. So here I will get for these two cancels y equals to 1 over 300x and negative 10 over 3 plus 10 it's the same as you can look at this as um, 30 over 3 so negative 10 over 3 plus 30 over 3 is positive 20 over 3 so this is the tangent line this is the tangent line but what we want is we want to get an estimation of Q root of 1001 so we are going to use, I'll just say use, this tangent line 
And then what we are going to do is plug in x is equal to 1001 into here and then do our regular computations. So we are going to end up with the Q root of 1001 is going to be approximately 1 over 300 times 1001 for the x value plus 20 over 3. And you see the beauty right here. This is something that we can actually work out by hand. But of course, I know that you guys are not going to do that. You guys are just going to use the calculator. So uh, just do that on the calculator, all right? And then you want to get decimal for this, and you are going to get, use the calculator to work this out, you are going to get about 10.0033, and a lot more series afterwards. But like, this is a pretty good approximation by using the equation of the tangent line. And just for fun, to figure out what's the actual value that the calculator will give you, right? Um, Q root of 1001 on the calculator, okay? Not by this, but on the calculator, you get 10.0033222 and so on, all right? But this way, it's like 333 all the way from it. Anyways, haha, <laughs> that's it.